back guys to the Legend of Zelda the Minish Cap after opening up many secrets for us to obtain on Mount Cornell we continue our kind of worldly exploration with the new flippers in hand with new places to go I wonder if there's any secrets in the pool no but it's a hot spring so I'm probably enjoying it as we pick ourselves up a blue kinstone piece to start off our treasure hunt let's get back down as fast as we can with diving sword strikes that we've now learned as well Let's start climbing this mountain once more because there's a massive beanstalk on top that we want to get to. In fact, there's got to be many little secrets hidden around all over the world. In fact, the base of Mas Mount Crenel itself, the access point, if I'm not mistaken in saying, there should be many walls to dig into there. So that'll be a place for me to check out, that's for sure. In the meantime, let's climb up the mountain and get started on our ascent proper. There's nothing up here to dig into, is there? No, we just got things to jump over if we really want to. If I even do it right, that is. Let's fling myself over it and see where it may take me. You never know where anything we might be able to get to here. That's just joined up to that door over there, isn't it? Might lead us on to nice new places. Don't tell me that golden tech tykes underneath me. It is indeed. Right. Well, that said, I guess we go hunting. Well, you're going to be annoying, aren't you? War of Attrition? I'll take you on. I've got 11 hearts, don't you know? How dare you kind of jump back in midair. And you, Chew, leave me alone. I'm in a fight here, can't you see? For a ton of rupees. All right, 723 now gained. Not bad at all. And no suspicious wall behind that. I'm glad that we can break rocks. Going up here with our new talents is a lot easier after all. And I hate bits like this. These webs able to cause us damage. He's able to cause us harm with ease. Let's keep on heading upwards though in the meantime. Let's see where we may get to. Excuse me. Farewell all of you. I'll take this heart. Keep on going upwards. Keep on going. But did we not unlock something up here at some point? Indeed we did, a chest awaits us. Let's go grab it out, he says. For another blue kinstone piece. I wonder if I can check the walls like here, because this would be a suspicious place. But no, I just insta start climbing. Watch out, watch out. If I go down, do I get spiked? No, I just cannot land. I was wondering if I'd end up getting damaged for it. But still, we head up further higher. Try to dodge these rocks. Come on, we've nearly made it to the beanstalk. We just like Jack, you know. Is there anything now we can do down there? Oi, blue tech tighty thing, go away. No one likes you. Especially not me. Right, a diggable wall. That'll be handy. Oh, tons of monsters stuck under rocks. They're not so much. I'll take all the goodies I can get and all the boulders that are coming. Let's dig my way in. I'll find out where this is leading. Green chew. Bye bye. I'll take the singular rupee, though I'm kind of rich at the moment again. No treasure chest hidden there. What is hidden there? Okay, just nothing at all. There's a heart. That's for sure. I'll look to take that ASAP. I was wondering why the area was like this. Right, you. Give me the piece of heart. Collect four to make another heart container, that's for sure. We'll dispatch a few as well. Let's see what other treasure this whole area contains, if any at all. There's a big sand area over there, after all. Let's get out a suitable weapon for facing this, as told in the swift blade tips. Ow. You. Get defeated and bring me a fairy, as we knew it'd be. Sword will top me up, no problem. And we'll dig through to find anything we can. Now I worry when a light light might just gobble me up at any random time. Or if there's any treasure just actually laying anywhere. That's another question itself. Because in all these little gaps seem to be nothing at all. 
We'll dig our way through, not knowing what exactly we're looking for. Oh, okay then, that's what this is about, is it? Another kinstone fusion area. And we get ourselves two kinstone pieces fitting together? And if I had to guess, if we follow on from what's happened before, it's all about those Gorons. Oh. Hmm? That next wall looks a little tougher. I didn't think we could break it. That doesn't mean we're going to give up, Goro. We might be able to bring you two more friends. Or just the one. Oh. I thought I smelled it, buddy. What are you doing here? Oh. Hey, give me a hand breaking through this wall, Goro. I think we need to find one more mysterious wall somewhere, eh? Digging away over there, though, they themselves might have kinstone fusions, I guess, if I were to visit. So, mysterious wall, we're gonna have to look for you everywhere, are we? In these diggable areas. It seems to be specifically here that I find you. All the same, let's head up that beanstalk finally. In fact, we've got to go where it rains as well. Mount Cronell is yielding lots of goodies. That's for sure. Right. How do I do this? I am climbing just like Jack. Have a beanstalk ever so high with music designed for it. No light like rupee kind of guys around here. Well, I'll take all of those rupees and another piece of heart. No problem. We can't leave to another screen though, it seems. I guess it's just back down the beanstalk again? Because I have my own beanstalk based adventures. We've picked ourselves up two heart pieces thus far. I want to make it more, make it more. I think I'm going to have to get rid of you before I can even fly over there, eh? You look like you're going to be causing me problems otherwise. No, 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 I definitely didn't want to throw myself before I was ready. Because we need to get to the rainy area next, don't we? Well, I just about made it over. And well, that is our destination. Let's head on in. I think we've covered most of Mount Cronell if we do. Right, where's this treasure chest? Well, the drips of water of doom might be coming down. But I get myself another kinstone piece. I'll take that blue one indeed. Though it's a red one I want, they only do a quarter heart damage. We found out something at least. So big again, is there anything else I can do up the top of Mount Cornell? I doubt it by the look of it. All I can really do is just push this boulder out of the way and just check the room below. I think, to be honest, if anything, we're heading out of here. Ow. What? Did my roll just dodge that guy? Did me rolling just dodge through him? I don't know, but I don't think there's anything else to find here just yet. We've more or less checked out most of the place. We know where we're supposed to be heading next, that's for sure. But we're looking for goodies, so the swamp will be next because I'm pretty sure there's at least one diggable zone over here. Well, let's get heading towards the very bottom of Mount Cornell's base, the entrance area, the Trilby Highlands. Sorry, sir, you're going goodbye. I'll just charge through rocks galore. And indeed find myself diggable areas. So, let's uh, uh, change item. And get more exploring. Well, it's a chest straight off the bat here for a red kinstone piece. Maybe that's the one that fits with... Hmm, is it? No, it isn't. We need the other type. We need to cover all bases. It might have changed because of starting and restarting. Saving and loading. But you don't want to take that bet, you want at least one of every one in this case. And any wall that we see now, we're going to have to dig into just in case there's a mysterious wall thing. And down we go for fairies. But I'm more suspicious of the walls. But none in the middles, no markers to hit. It seems that this area is just... Well, that kinstone piece. And opening that. Can I head past this bridge? No. Well, a fairy fountain is ours, but this is the one I was talking about. This is the one that we've been seeing since the start. Let's dig on through. 
see where this may take me then. Now we need to dig out every wall now, don't we? Okay, we get ourselves a treasure chest for a blue kinstone piece. A massive wall here. And we do find one indeed. So, blue kinstone. That'll be four Gorons then, if I'm guessing correctly. Digging for secrets is what we're doing. That's a tough wall. The three of us together couldn't even break it. You might be able to now. Add in a fourth. I smell delicious stones. They're right on the other side of this wall. Can you give me a hand, Goro Goro? Indeed he can. I do wonder if I'm missing secrets by not going there at this point in time already. Where are they going now? I guess I won't know until I actually go there and find out. Right, let's head up wherever this is leading us. Right after getting this chest. For what are we getting? A blue kinstone piece. I'm happy with that. I'm fine with that. The red ones are what we need at the moment. We have to head back to the Sword Master, but hello, another Tingle brother is here. Hey, Mr. Fairy, I've been holding on to this just like my brother Tingle ass. And I have Kinstone pieces. Want to try and fuse with me? Okay, I, I do. What would you say? Something, you said something else. How many have you not found yet? Let's see, 50 left to go. What do you mean, Kinstone fusions or Kinstone pieces? Hmm, that's interesting. Whatever marker they're measuring, but thank goodness it's the only green one I actually do have. I really need to go buy some pickle lights, some white pickle light. Get myself some more goodness. But where's this? This is... This is to be in the Hyrule Castle Garden before. It's the bottom left one then. Hmm, interesting. They fit perfectly. Tingle would be so proud of me. Indeed he would, I'm sure. There seems to be another house to visit. Come on, give me a green kinstone. You know you want it. Grass. Grass will pay me. In the meantime, let's shrink down. And check some other things out! Right, hello sir, and you've got a kinston fusion on top of that! Did you ever check out that watery spot? Was I right? Oh, it was weird, huh? What watery spot? I guess I did? I don't know. What, do you want to fuse kinstone? Sure, but... Now I'm kind of confused, this watery spot. Hmm... Well, I need more green kinstones to fuse with you then. Exactly our problem at this point in time. It might be good to pick up that white pickle light right now. Right, we can jump down here. Well, what watery spot were you saying? If you could just tell me now, I might be able to figure out what what secrets there are. Come on, tell me, sir. It'd be nice of you. Heaven forbid you'd be nice to me. Alright, here we go. Let's have a look around these sections as well. You never know what we might find. We're checking things out, but of course we've made a bridge. We should be able to get us forward quite nicely. And with water to dive into, hmm. I was wondering where this could take me, but. I don't seem to be anywhere. Suspicious watery spots around here. I'm wondering why I can get in the water if there isn't. But no, nothing found whatsoever. It's just an area to enter water, but. For those intent on finding secrets, one does not lie in that location. Alright, apart from that, we can hit the water on that side as well. well. We know where we're heading now. The place we just opened. Let's head on inside. Alright then, another chest for our troubles. We're a red kinstone piece. Is it the one we need, though? That's the real question. Nope. What a shame, but we like this torch. And one more flame is all that we need. One more Tingle Brother somewhere across the land. We'll find him in time, I'm sure. And apart from that, let's find out if we can go anywhere over here. Using our swimming prowess and our swimming powers, we can definitely get places. And we got 200 rupees, wasting about 100 of them. My face is gleaming, sure. Should I even go this way? Because I'm basically just wasting rupees because I saw another chest. Ah, 100 mysterious shells will take you. What is the maximum we can get? We've got 866. I really need to go trade some for some figurines. 
That's for sure. Is anything hiding at the end spot? No. Going into the water here has been helpful. I can't go that way, it seems. I'm wondering why. The bit of the dark blue is stopping me. I can't head into these places. That's a shame. Well, nothing's buried underwater. Nothing to dive for. Alright then, so we've got ourselves more treasure from just a little bit of searching. Where to next is the next question, the Minish Woods? The Caster Wilds? So many places to head, so little time. Where do you think I should go is really the question, but of course I can't speak to you in live senses. Here, have some grass. Let's head to outside Lon Lon Ranch. Hmm. The reason for that is that doesn't this bring us to a watery area? It does indeed. Finding something here might be possible now that we have our flippers, and most importantly, suspicious waterfall, I see you and find nothing. And I can't even, oh, I can make it over. Hmm, where am I going now? Well, let's beat the obvious cheaty rupee like like Why did you just blow up then? What happened to him? Well, red rupees all around. We know that there's got to be a light light. More to the point, we found ourselves another diggable wall from our curiosity. Go me! And what were those guys up there? Okay. Blue one is going out no problem at all with two treasure chests down there and obvious rupees that I'm about to waste. I'm expecting, however... Not to find what I was expecting to find. Hmm. I was expecting a mysterious wall segment there. We got ourselves 50 rupees. And 50 mysterious shells. Wasting, of course, 50 rupees. We don't mind about that, really, do we? No mysterious wall segment. What a shame. We'd have been a roll on these gorms if we were. Getting tons of them. All right, no way back up over here. And of course, no way to go down there, so... Let's fly to a new location, I think. This checking out of the world is interesting, but isn't getting us the rewards we really want. Shall I fly back to the house, and then go into the Minish Woods, or just straight to the Minish Woods point? Let's go to the Windcrest. All right then, this brings us on the way out. Which brings us instantly to a blue keystone piece treasure. Nicely done. Oh, well, getting in there would be quite interesting for me. Hmm. Apart from that, could I get into areas like this now? Considering that is a big question. Also, what's over here again? So many places to check, so little time. Have I done anything involving this house before? Or have I done it properly? Is there a Kinstone Fusion available? Indeed there is! I just planted a big old bean! It hasn't sprouted yet! When it does, it's gonna be a big sucker! Well, hopefully, I want to make it bigger then! Using my Kinstone pieces galore! And where's this? A bombable wall that we haven't bombed yet? I'm pretty sure I... Did? I think I recognize the location. More or less kind of just above me in general. So let's get going up another beanstalk then. There must be nice treasure over there. Let's get moving. Excuse me, coming through. Grass that might drop green stuff. Yes, I did bomb that wall, but I guess it didn't render it for the clip. Weird. Had me a bit confused for a second. But I'm gonna climb straight up. Find whatever treasure lies on top. Okay, more than one treasure chest. 200 mysterious shells. In fact, that brings me to the total as well. A heart piece. We now have three. Nearly a full heart container, but I guess I'll leave that one, considering the fact I need to waste a lot of these mysterious shells and maybe find a way to spend a little bit of my rupees and kinstones and all that. This might be left for a little bit in between episodes. Alright, apart from that, no kinsters to be found here. Monsters, though. Anything in this panel of these Hills? 
Doesn't look like it at the moment. All right then. Let's head back over into the Minish Woods. See if there's anything else we can do. Well, we can now dump into the water whenever we want. And of course there was a diggable spot over here, wasn't there? We just couldn't get round from where we were. So with that said, let's check this one out. So many secrets, so little time. Check it through, oh yes! Destroy them all! Without a mysterious wall segment, we come to two treasure chests, but no way to really open them for the time being because we've got too much of everything, so I'm gonna go use some up, and I'll see you next time. For more Legend of Zelda Minish Cap as we continue to look for all the secrets around the world, hopefully heading through the Minish Woods and into the Castor Wilds, so then we can hit Lake Hylia proper. Join me next time, and I'll see you around. Bye-bye.